Hi everyone, this is Cynthia Drake again for CreditCards.com. A while back I did a story on how to properly destroy your credit card and one of the tips that I gave you was to use a magnet along the magnetic stripe on the back of your credit card to deactivate the information. We received a few comments from some of you out there who were a little skeptical of whether that would actually work. So we've decided to take your skepticism and issue ourselves a challenge. Today I am doing a little bit of an experiment with a few different kinds of magnets and credit cards. And later on we'll go to a store and see if these credit cards will be readable by a credit card machine. Now for the big guns. Here we are at a local scrap yard and they've let us use a magnet that can pick up 7,000 pounds of material. This did work. This card did not work. This card did work. Wow! To help me answer this dilemma, I contacted Professor A. Dean Sherry, a professor of chemistry at the University of Texas at Dallas, and his response to me was that magnets do erase magnetic stripes off of credit cards. However, it's actually not a factor of the strength of the magnet, but rather the a number and length of exposure of the magnet to the stripe. Even uh, your standard refrigerator magnet will eventually work. However, it may take uh, several swipes or maybe a couple of minutes of exposure. So after speaking with him, I actually took the smaller refrigerator magnet and held it against the credit card for several minutes and just kind of gave it a few swipes back and forth. And when I tried to use it the next time, it actually didn't work. So it just goes to show you, even if you have access to a junkyard magnet, that may not be your best bet in trying to remove the information from the string. And of course, as always, if you really want to um, destroy your credit card properly, just using a pair of kitchen shears or running it through a shredder should be more than sufficient to destroy the card. Thanks a lot and see you next time. <music>